All right, guys, welcome to day five of a week on Iceland frozen food. We are going to be starting the day off with oriental chicken noodles stir fry. Meals in minutes, serves two. It definitely does not serve two. This pack cooks down to like literally less than half. It looks like a lot, but like I say, it cooks down to about half. And I've calculated the calories. So here it says per half, half meal, so basically half the packet is 334 calories and 1.9 grams of salt. So if we times it by two, it's 668 calories and 3.8 grams of salt. Now, some of you may be thinking, that's not a breakfast-based food. Well, I don't eat breakfast-based foods. Sometimes I do. Sometimes I'll have a bacon sandwich or an egg sandwich. But, you know, um, most of the time, if I do eat something in the morning, which I normally don't, um, it'll be something like whatever I, whatever I fancy eating, whether it's noodles, pizza, hot dogs, you know what I mean. You get the picture. Yeah. So... Oriental chicken noodles and this cooks in 15 minutes, I think 12 to 15 minutes here So this is to start the day off and then next we have fish and chips frozen fish and chips um, I'll give you a look. I'll give you a little sneak peek This is what we're having next fish and chips with garden peas and what I'll do is I'll Mix a bit of butter with those peas and mash them with a fork and that'll give us mushy peas because uh, mushy peas goes better than not mushy peas with um, fish and chips. Yeah, if you're not British, um, um, you may not know what mushy peas are, but mushy peas are absolutely delicious and they go very well with fish and chips. So yeah, that's what we're going to have later and then i don't know what we're gonna have after that possibly we do have chicken curry we have a chicken dinner chicken dinner and we have some chicken fried rice so we should have curry with chicken fried rice hold on hold on hold on we've still got one of those um hot and spicy burgers left so we can do that in the air fryer and leave it on the wire rack so it keeps the crispiness so yeah uh, let's get on with cooking the noodles okay so we don't want to wait until the oil is too hot otherwise when you put this into there it's going to splot the oil out everywhere and if it hits you, it really burns. Let's see if I can do this one-handed. Yeah, that oil wasn't supposed to be that hot. But hey, oh, I haven't burnt myself. Yeah. See, that, look, that looks like a lot. It'll go down to half. You see, this has only been around two minutes. And it's already gone down. And it smells delicious. You see how much it's gone down. And this smells absolutely delicious. Wish there was such thing as a uh, smell of vision or smell of iPhone. Smell of phone. <laughs> so you could smell the food through your screen. Um, we need this puddle of water to go. I think it's because there's too, far too much in the pan, so it's like sweating rather than cooking. Maybe I should have cooked it in a wok. But, um, if we, hmm, I was going to say if we turn the heat up full, but it's almost, that is full. Um, right, <laughs> I don't know, right, I'll get back to you. Yeah, it seems to be going down a little bit. Or it was until I started recording. Um, this spoon, as you see, it's got holes in it. So when we serve it, you know, the uh, 
juice is going to drip out the bottom like that. So that's what we'll do. This is almost ready. And look how much it's gone down compared to uh, when we first put it in the pan, it was overflowing. And now it's down to halfway or just above halfway. Uh, yeah, them spices I added to it made a, a really good difference, especially that garam masala. Okay, uh, next clip you will see me taste testing this. And uh, also I'm going to get my dad to taste test too. So we shall see you in the next clip. Okay, so I have let this sit for a little while. And the puddle has soaked up. So there we are. It's still nice and hot and steaming, as you can see. So let's get some plated up. Okay, here we go. It smells nice. Okay, let's get um, a bit of chicken on there, some veg. This is quite hard to pick up. Maybe better just scooping it up. <laughs> Come on. There we go. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> okay, so it's nice. <clears throat> I wouldn't say delicious, but it's definitely nice. That chicken's got a good flavour to it. Um, the extra spices I added to it, I thought it would have given it a lot more flavour, but um, yeah, it's not much. Yeah, not much, but um, it's still nice. I would definitely buy it again. You don't get much chicken in there. Give me a little piece. Okay, so. I would give that 5 out of 10. <clears throat> Yeah, 5 out of 10 easily. <clears throat> okay, so yeah, I would recommend that to anyone who likes noodles or stir fries. I would recommend that to you. And I was I would also recommend adding extra spices and pepper and uh, what's a shish -sh 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 sauce. <laughs> so yeah, uh, I'm going to stop filming now. I'm going to go and enjoy this. And then we'll see you later on when we cook the fish and chips. I've never had uh, frozen fish and chips from Iceland. Um, so yeah, it's going to be an experience. Burp warning, burp warning. <coughs> pardon me, pardon me, pardon me. Right, <laughs> let's see you in the next clip. Okay, so. Fish and chips with garden peas. And like I said earlier, I'm going to be mushing these up with a fork and some butter to turn it into mushy peas. Now that looks quite appetizing on the box, doesn't it? So let's see what it looks like here. Yeah, that looks quite good, even though it's frozen. That does look good. I hope the, uh, the batter turns out crispy. Now I've already read this part it says to pierce this part and you leave this part intact and then <clears throat> it's 45 minutes and you turn you mix this around halfway through cooking um it doesn't say about mixing this halfway through cooking it just says to keep that intact so yeah i've got the oven heating up and then um yeah we shall see you soon. Okay, so let's see what this looks like. Chips look good. 
fish looks a little bit soggy. Let's hope it's not. Let's put that to the side. Well, let's test. Yeah, that feels crispy. Tip's good. Yeah, great. I'm going to mash these peas up. And I think I will just eat this out of the packaging to serve washing um, a plate. So anyway, yeah. I've got some tartar sauce to have with it too. This is what it's supposed to look like. And that's what it actually looks like. I mean, it's quite the resemblance, isn't it? I might use that for the uh, thumbnail. Let's move that pen and that tart sauce out of the way. And then use that for the thumbnail of the video. Okay. Right, let's get the tripod stood up. And, uh, yeah, we'll get tasting. Okay, so I've mashed the peas up with some butter. I've put salt and pepper, salt and pepper and vinegar on the fish and chips. And I've got some tartar sauce here. First, I'm going to try the fish. We'll get the tail end. Now let's get some tartar sauce on there. See how good it is. Okay, that's it. <laughs> Nothing but tart sauce. Let's try the fish on its own. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, I can definitely taste that. I think I put I think I put a bit too much tartar sauce on the first bit. But yeah, you can really taste that. That is really nice, that is for a frozen meal. That is really nice. Just put a tiny bit of tartar sauce on there. Yeah, that's really good. Let's try some chips with um uh, peas, sorry, not chips, with a chip and some tartar sauce. Okay, them chips are good. Hmm. This is really good. Really good. Let's get a little bit of everything on there. I will try to. That sauce. Okay. Absolutely delicious. Pardon me for talking with my mouth full. Absolutely delicious. Give this. 9 out of 10 easily. At least 9 out of 10. Let's try those chips again. In the uh, tart sauce. calories for this we don't think we did do we so 419 calories and 0.6 grams of salt we'll write that down on here 419 calories and what was it 0.6 grams of salt So, this is what we're on so far. 668 calories, 
419 calories, 3.8 salt and 0.6 salt. Okay, right, I'm going to finish this video. <clears throat> well, until we get to the next, the next meal, uh, I'm going to go and enjoy this. So yeah, see you in the next clip. All right, guys. So I originally was going to have, um, <clears throat> you see my <laughs> sandals and the reflection of the fridge there. I was originally going to have uh, chicken fried rice with Chinese style chicken curry. But I still feel quite full from the fish and chips we ate earlier, so I don't think I'll be able to, well, I know I won't be able to eat um, a curry and rice, but I'll be able to eat a couple of these and a couple of these. Now, we did try these a few days ago, but uh, they're really nice, so I'm going to have them again because I want to try them with um, with that tartar sauce. I mean, that might sound disgusting to some of you, but I don't know. I'm quite curious to try it with tartar sauce. And uh, tempura king prawns. I think that might go nice with um, uh, tartar sauce as well. And I'm going to do these in the air fryer. So these go in the air fryer at 200 degrees C uh, for 10 to 12. And these go in at one, 170, uh, no 180, sorry, for seven minutes. So what I'm going to do is I'll put these in at 12 minutes and then we'll wait five minutes and we'll put these in and uh yeah i, I don't think i'm going to adjust the temperature um we'll just see how it turns out so yeah tempura king prawns and pickled onion uh flavored onion rings and then we'll probably have the uh chicken curry tomorrow thing is with these um i'm not gonna get a decent calorie count Oh yeah, I am. Per four onion rings. 204 calories for four onion rings. That's quite bad, that isn't it? <laughs> isn't it? Four onion rings, 200 calories. Okay, so I think I'll do four of these. And five of these. So yeah, let's get, uh, let's get these in the air fryer. Uh, <laughs> I could feel a burp coming up as I was about to swallow it. <clears throat> there it is. <laughs> Pardon me. You know what? I've just realised to make it easier, we can just go um, five minutes. We go five minutes. And then put the tempura king prawns in at seven minutes. Okay, I've done the workout. So it's. 1,573 calories total, so we're like <clears throat> about 1,000 calories down, um, well, you do the math, <laughs> I'm crap with maths, and uh, we're at, we are at 6 grams of salt, which is um, the daily recommended, you know, 6 or less is the uh, daily recommended for, for uh, a man, so yeah. Not too bad. So, uh, once this is, uh, once the time has gone down, we're gonna put these in there. And then we'll have some tartar sauce. These are really nice. If you like Space Raiders, ah, oh, they're delicious. Smell delicious. Yeah, if you like Space Raiders, you'll like these. But unfortunately, if you're not in the UK, <laughs> I doubt you'll be able to get them because I think these are only a UK thing. So, I was just scrolling through my phone. I didn't even hear the air fryer go off. It just, it just went off then. But um, the timer had finished, so it went on to cool. But I didn't realize the timer had finished until I looked over. And I was, <laughs> oh well. Um, right, let's get these in and turn these uh, onion rings over. Okay. Okay, I've went for um, six tempuras and six onion rings. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. 
200 at 7 minutes. Okay, in general, we'll drop the temperature a bit because those um, tempura, do you know what? 180 will be enough for those onion rings. They're already, they're already quite crispy. You know, it's not like we're cooking pork here, you know? Um, so, <laughs> the onion rings have uh, gone slightly charred, even though I followed the uh, instructions. I actually knocked the time down, uh, the temperature down a little bit as well. I like, <laughs> I like stopping that on one second. Yeah, I actually knocked the temperature down a little bit as well, and it still went <laughs> like that. Um, these needed a little longer because they didn't seem cooked. They seemed a bit soft, but yeah, these seem cooked now. Okay, let's get these into here and then wait for a bit for it to cool down, and then we'll taste it on its own and then we'll taste it with some tartar sauce. I've got a good feeling it's gonna go good with these. Not too sure about these, but hey ho, we'll give it a go. I'm a poet and I don't even know it. Okay, so I do usually use a fork, but these are <coughs> very crispy uh, to pick up with a fork. It's gonna be miles, a miles easier to just use my fingers plus it's finger food basically, isn't it? It's finger food anyways. Now this is gonna be crunchy. So if you don't like eating noises, then <laughs> I recommend you skip forward or um, <laughs> knock the video off. Okay. Tartar sauce on a pickled onion, onion ring. Okay, okay. Oh, that goes delicious. That goes really well. <clears throat> I can feel heartburn already, that's not good. <laughs> that's not good. <clears throat> I don't know whether that's from the tartar sauce or the onion rings. Lovely. <clears throat> yeah, just eat the full thing. <clears throat> Very nice. <clears throat> you know, I was <clears throat> I was expecting it to have like puree in there, but it's a lot of focus. It's got like an actual full prawn in there. Try it without the sauce. <clears throat> Okay, so there's a lot more flavour in that without the sauce. Yeah, you can taste the uh, the shrimp a whole lot more, or the prawn. <clears throat> I don't know why it said shrimp. It's an, uh, shrimp is American for prawn, so I don't know why I said shrimp. I'm not American. <clears throat> Hello, Reggie. I'm going to say hello to YouTube. Hmm? And <laughs> you want to say hello to YouTube? <laughs> you can't have human food, Reg. Alright, guys, so that's it for today. <clears throat> I'll see you in tomorrow's episode. And I'll probably cook that curry tomorrow. And that chicken burger as well. I need to go back to the I need to go back to the shop and get some bread buns. <clears throat> okay, right. Hope you enjoyed the video. And let's say we'll see you. See you. <laughs> we'll see you in the next video. 
Peace.